Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Switzerland, known for its beautiful mountainous views. And I'm going to showcase its villages, its towns, its lakes, and its mountains. So let's take a look at 25 beautiful places to visit in Switzerland. Lauterbrunnen, one of the places where you can visit over and over again. You will see cascading waterfalls, green lush valleys, and stunning mountain ranges that overlook the vibrant city. You will also see rugged cliffs and the rivers originating from the melting glacier. So Lauterbrunnen remains beautiful throughout the year, whether it's winter or summer. And the easiest way to get there is either boarding a flight to Bern or Zurich, and then later getting a train ride via Interlaken and to reach Lauterbrunnen. Grindelwald, a village that you can only dream of, and one of the most fascinating places to visit in Switzerland. It's the perfect destination, especially for those who like more adventurous activities, luxurious hotels and being around nature. It's both wonderful in the summer as well as the winter, and all of this have made Grindelwald village a haven. And you can visit Lauterbrunnen in just one day, as well as Grindelwald, as long as you're not planning to go up any other side trips like hiking up the mountains. Number three, Bengen. Situated at the foot of the Jungfrau mountain, this traditional car-free resort town boasts breathtaking views, warm locals, delicious food, and access to some of the country's most wonderful nature. You can hike through the green hills in the spring, you can mire the valleys in the summer, and enjoy skiing and other sports in winter. Making Bengen a really interesting town and an amazing holiday destination all year round. And the difference between Wengen and Lauterbrunnen is that Wengen is perched on the mountainside with views of the mountain and valley, whereas Lauterbrunnen sits in the valley. But if you want to base yourself, maybe Wengen is slightly busier but it has more accommodation and dining opportunities. Number four, Lake Zialbsi. Now this is one of the most beautiful lakes in Switzerland and can be found in the Alpstein region of Appenzell. The ease of accessibility and the moderate incline make it one of the most popular attractions in the Appenzell region. So it's easily searchable on Google Maps as you'll see a paved road almost the whole way, but you can really spend a whole day here, or you can just be admiring the lake as you pass through.
Number five, Spies or Spiers. Nestled between the hills and the vineyards and dominated by a magnificent castle, Spiers on Lake Tun is an inviting destination that you should try the next time you visit Switzerland. Here you can hike through the hills or take a long boat ride on the Blue Lake and sample some of the freshest fish. So if you travel simply just for the cuisine alone, it's a destination with an impressive offering of plenty of good food and the opportunity to taste the local wine. So I'm sure there will be plenty of wine tours on this trip as well. Number six, Montreux. Located on the beautiful shores of Lake Geneva, Montreux epitomizes tranquility and the natural beauty that surrounds it. Now I think this is an incredibly pretty town that is often referred to as the Swiss Riviera. So it's kind of no surprise that many famous artists, writers and travelers have frequented this inviting lakeside town in the past. It's home to stunning historical architecture, and there are plenty of activities all year round from either skiing and snowboarding in the winter to hiking and biking in the summer. Number seven, Lake Brienz. The turquoise lake and the neighboring Lake Tun are set amidst the spectacular mountain scenery of the Bernese Oberland. Now the best things to do here are quite simply boat rides and biking. The regular boat service links all the little places around the lake on its route, from the chic resort of Interlaken on the western side to the little town of Brienz in the east. And traveling on this lake will bring you to the next destination. If you like to explore peaceful, idyllic and fairy tale villages that have lots of things to do and see, then Iselbelt is almost certainly worth a visit. It's probably best known for the stunning photos taken of the castle, situated in Lake Brienz. Schloss Seeberg. This fairy tale small village is situated on the southern shore of the very beautiful lake, and it's a place that you cannot miss. Matterhorn. This is a mountain of the Alps straddling the border between Switzerland and Italy. It's known internationally by its German name, the Matterhorn, and owes its fame to the almost perfect pyramid shape. Its four-sided rigid rocky peak towers over 4,000 meters above sea level. So this is just a beautiful view of the mountain. Number 10. Lutri, a medieval market town that is home to an 11th century church in a 16th century castle, where you can wander the cobbled streets and discover various galleries, shops, cafes, even wine cellars. The town has a beautiful waterfront, which adds to that kind of picturesque setting. For those of you who love to hike, there are a number of hiking routes to explore, where you can discover the stunning scenery of the area. But if you're interested, there's a wine harvest festival that takes place at the end of September. So I guess it's probably a good time to visit the town as you can go on these tastings and sample the local wine. Number 11, Lugano. 
the largest town in the holiday region of Ticino. The town lies in a bay on the northern side of Lake Lugano, surrounded by numerous mountains offering those splendid views. Once you're there, you'll see a traffic-free historic town center. The buildings in Italianate Lombardy style, the exclusive museums, the mountains, the lakeside walks, and an absolute jam-packed calendar of events all year round. And all of this make this destination a very exciting choice for your next trip to Switzerland. And whilst you're here, you can then take a relaxing ferry to the next destination. Number 12. Mokota. A ferry trip away from Lugano, it's by far and away the prettiest village on the Lake Lugano shoreline. Formerly a fishing haven, it's set into a hillside, offering charming alleyways to explore as well as lovely vistas of the lake. Now the bell tower of the historic Santa Maria del Sasso church towers over the houses below and it's definitely worth seeing. It's quite a relaxing atmosphere and environment to be at. Next up is Stein am Rhein. Now this is a small town west of Lake Constance, Odensee, in northeastern Switzerland and it's known for its preserved half-timbered medieval houses. So it does have a lot of German influence seeing as it's so close to the border. And the town presents a mind-blowing collection of fresco buildings where ancient paintings have still been intact ever since they were created in the 16th century. So I think this is a perfect day trip. Even from Zurich, you can go straight from Zurich to Schaffhausen and then change to get to Stein am Rhein. Number 14, Harder Kulm. Interlaken's own mountain, Harder Kulm offers views like no other. But it's easy to reach, you can take the 10 minute cable car up from the gondola station located next to the Interlaken train station. I mean, for me, I think the best time to visit is probably around April. Uh, I, I would avoid peak July and August unless uh, you really enjoy standing in queues. So once you get to the top, take advantage of the restaurant. There's plenty of refreshments that you can have and then admire some of the views over Interlaken as well as queuing up for that picture perfect spots for your you know, your Instagram or whatever that you use, family albums, and enjoy the scenery of the mountains right in the background. Number 15, Lake Urchinancy. Located in the Bernese Oberland region, at the height of over 1600 meters, the lake makes for a stunning landscape. Surrounded by sharp peaks and a small waterfall at one end, the lake is ridiculously beautiful. The very short optional hike to the lake adds to the charm of the experience, and the landscapes along the hike are simply breathtaking and quite different to most other hikes that you'll do in the Swiss Alps. So get to Kandersteg, and from there you can take a gondola 
followed by a short, easy walk to Lake Urchidency. Number 16. Schaffhausen and Rhine Falls Schaffhausen may not be at the top of your mind when it comes to thinking about places to visit in Switzerland, but it absolutely should be. This small historic town in northern Switzerland has plenty and plenty of charm. It has a surprising amount of attractions, dominated by a 16th century fortress with Renaissance period architecture, a lovely riverside location and close proximity to Switzerland's largest waterfall, Rhine Falls. Number 17, Zurich. Now you can't visit Switzerland without having a taste of Zurich, a vibrant cosmopolitan city steeped in culture and history dating back 5,000 years. Zurich is a famous holiday destination where there are lakes and mountains, plenty of old churches, museums, and every fascinating thing you could possibly imagine in a city. And yes, it is absolutely expensive as F. However, it's kind of like a fairyland, where the city is brought alive in every corner. Cobbled lanes, old towns, full of charm, boutique cafes, shops, it has everything. And still worth a trip. Number 18, Ascona. The Pearl of Lake Maggiore, which features those pastel colored houses all clustered together around a very tranquil harbor. And it will allow for leisurely strolls along the boardwalk promenade, taking in the stunning lake and the mountain views. But the old town, at its heart lies the tall bell tower, being the town's central landmark and branching out from the church is a series of narrow lanes, plenty of boutiques, antique shops and galleries. Now if you've been on my channel for long, I do like my old towns and those leisurely strolls. But food is also one of the main attractions of the town. So if you do love your food, don't forget to try the risotto. Number 19, Lucerne. Now this is a fairy like town, complete with those charming cobbled streets, a stunning lake and snow peaked mountains in the background. So on your first trip to Lucerne, the highlights would be visiting the Chapel Bridge, which can get a little busy, the Lion Monument and the spectacular Lake Promenade. So after wandering the streets, there's another opportunity to admire Lucerne from above. Visit the Chateau, which is situated as a vantage point high above the roofs of Lucerne. And from up here, you can enjoy a spectacular view, the lake and of course the mountains. So as you arrive at Zurich, you can board a train straight to Lucerne. Number 20, Trimmelbach Falls. Now, one of the most unique waterfalls I've ever seen is Trumbach Falls, or Trumelbach Falls, which are Europe's largest subterranean waterfall and one of the best places to visit in Switzerland. Now, these are a series of 10 waterfalls fed by the Jungfrau glaciers. It's an example of superb Swiss engineering, and it allows you to access these falls through underground lifts and galleries.
So what you should do is from Lauterbrunnen station, catch the bus opposite and then it's a 10 minute ride to the falls. Number 21, Lake Lungen. Lake Lungen, also known as Lungensee, is a natural lake in Obwalden. It's nestled between impressive mountains and beautiful scenery, and the lake is named after the actual town Lungen on its shore. So it's home to several beaches, and there's nothing more refreshing on a hot summer's day than going for a swim in a crystal clear lake surrounded by mountains. So this is a very peaceful spot and highly recommended on this list. So you could stay in the town, which has some good hotel options. However, Interlaken and Lucerne are also nearby and have a little bit more options in terms of accommodation and activities. But you can reach Lake Lungen from both cities by train. Next up is Bern. The severely underrated capital city of Switzerland. Surrounded on three sides by the river, Bern is historical and a culturally rich city. Now the highlight here would be the Old Town. It's breathtaking to walk through with its numerous fountains and beautiful sandstone facades. The place is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's easily one of the best places to visit in Switzerland. The bonus here is that it's located in the heart of Switzerland and acts as the gateway to the Alps. Number 23, Geneva. A cosmopolitan and very international city in Switzerland located on the shores of Lake Geneva and close to the French border. It's known throughout the world for its wealth. So as I mentioned, it's truly an international city thanks to the presence of the UN. Zurich is a little more Swiss and while it still attracts plenty of foreign nationals, it doesn't compare to the diversity of Geneva. It's also very well placed to take you to France or Italy or you can even travel on a day trip if you get up early enough. And the highlights are the Old Town, the Water Jet Fountain, and of course, Bastien's Park. Number 24, Zermatt. Now, no peak has more pulling power than the Matterhorn, towering above the alpine resorts of Zermatt. But Zermatt is more than a mountain wonder. Even climbers have been rocking up here since the mid 19th century. But I highly recommend that you do one thing enjoy a scenic train journey from Zermatt as you ride along the Cog Railway to the summit of the Gornebrat. They run every 30 minutes and they are quite busy, but you will get some fantastic views, so make sure you sit on the right hand side of the train. Finally, number 25, Basel, aka Sprinkle a Bit of Basel. Now this is a city on the Rhine River in northwest Switzerland, close to the country's border with France and Germany. Now this city might surprise you over Geneva and Missouri. So to really enjoy what Basel has to offer, you have to explore the old town on foot. The main highlight here is Basel Munster Cathedral, as it captures the soul of the city through its twin towers and red sandstone walls. 
Basel also contains the country's highest concentration of museums, so you have to take advantage, whether you're interested in history or art or anything else. It's also a green city. Check out the botanical gardens, as well as chilling out by the banks of the Rhine, which are perfect places to relax and linger in a wonderful Swiss city. And there you have it folks, 25 juicy places to visit in Switzerland. And the bonus is, it's an ideal destination all year round. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. There are plenty more places to see in Switzerland, but that will be in another video. As always, be good, be kind, and be careful. Yatsi!